uh, the chairman of the Buruburu uh, Residents Welfare Association, uh, David Ole Conchella, and Dr. John Ntoti, and he is from the Nairobi County Government. He's the chief officer in charge of sub-county administration. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Uh, let me start with you, Chairman. Uh, when did this degradation, as your colleagues had said, begin? When did it begin in Buruburu? Um, <clears throat> thank you, um, Victoria. Um, Actually, the degradation of Buruburu started some times back, but um, in the recent years, maybe about almost 10 years ago, that is when uh, the climax was attained. And uh, this is uh, simply um, because of different interests. Mm -hmm. uh, the interest of the owners or the people who own homes in Buruburu were not actually were left aside and a different interest came into play and um, as you've heard my, my colleague say it is an interest of various uh, players mm -hmm. one business the business community and most of them are people who don't really live in Buruburu mm -hmm. they come do their business they run businesses at the end of the day they leave mm -hmm. and um, also, the issue of lack of facilities. Uh, for example, um, our brothers and sisters who are, uh, whose interest is to make a living from the neighboring estates, Umoja, Uruma, even as, 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 as far as Kiambio and all that. Mm -hmm. um, their main interest is to come and do business. But because of the lack of facilities, for example, um, when Buruburu was built, an area was set aside, a facility was set aside uh, as a market of Buruburu. Right. Now, um, because that facility is no longer there, mm -hmm. so people tend to look for every open space. So they encroach on areas that yes, they're not they supposed encroach, to be on. Yes, they encroach on those areas to try and make a living. So a big problem here is the influx of people, population. Uh, and Dr. Ntoiti, what is the government doing? Was the county government ready for this influx of people coming into an area, for instance, like Buruburu? Uh, I want to sincerely thank you, Victoria, for giving us an opportunity uh, to talk to Nairobians about the issues that uh, we are facing. It is true that uh, in this country, uh, the governor always keeps on saying 1.2 million youths leave school and enter the job market. And I can tell you for sure, out of the 1.2 million, 800,000 end up to this city. It is the dream of many young Kenyans in schools, in high schools, in the university, to work in this city after they complete their education. And the mission of this uh, the county government is to make Nairobi City a city of choice to live, to invest, and to work so in. So how is the county government accommodating now, these ones coming in? Um, it, it, this, this shows, Victoria, that um, the population has been growing over time. What has been leading Nairobi in its development was a master plan that was developed in 1970. So it's outdated. So it's, it's an issue of policy. Mm -hmm. And uh, when our governor came in place, the first thing he embarked on is to develop an integrated master plan that will move this city to the next 100 years. In this master, master plan, it is stipulates where our markets will be, yeah? Mm -hmm. Even the roads that you see in the CBD. Because now we are seeing many highways being expanded but the roads in the city are not expanding. Right. This is captured And that's more of a long-term plan. What about yes. immediate action that can happen? Now, um, because of this dishonor that has been in the city, actually one week ago, the governor formed a task force of four senior officers. Mm -hmm. These senior officers are to lead our officers in every ward, in every sub-county, in our estate, to ensure that there is honor. And one of the things that they are handling now, that which we are really handling, is the illegal structures. Right. Not only in Buruburu, but in all the estates in this city. All right, we'll come yes. to that, Doctor, if you just hold that thought. Let's cross over to Christine, and she'll be handling the social media engagement. Christine? 
interactive as possible. So we want to, you to use the hashtag Buruburu's Fall and send us your feedback. Also tag at NTV Kenya with your comments and we'll be sampling them a little bit on in this broadcast. Uh, I have a few here that I want to look at. Um, Buruburu resident says there are normal playgrounds for children in Buruburu. DJ Blue Fame says this Buruburu fall story is really sad, but of course the Nairobi County government won't act. We're also asking you a question. What's working in your neighborhood and what's not working? We want you to send us a picture or a brief description on the state of your estate and we'll highlight some of those comments as well. Vicky, back to you. All right, thanks, Christine. Uh, Dr. Ntoiti, you had mentioned the issue of illegal structures, but I'll come to that really quickly. Uh, Mr. Conchella, there's also the problem of extensions, people building extensions in their homes to uh, get more money from renters. So that has also been an issue in Buruburu. Yes, there's been an issue. There's been an issue, and um, as the residents of Buruburu, we, we ask ourselves questions. One, we have what we call uh, the city bylaws. And the city bylaws are very clear when it comes to um, construction. Mm -hmm. Buruburu, when it was built, had its own plan. And the plan of Buruburu at that time was to have the main house and you are allowed to build a small, um, what, we, what, what is called a seven quarter, mm -hmm. a one room seven quarter for your, um, uh, for your workers. Right. Now, um, people misuse that by building high-rise. They have, they have actually built as two-story, three-story um, extensions. And it, you, it would have been the control of the county government mm -hmm. to say, no, you are not allowed to, to build, to go extra, right. higher. But um, um, we, we are still asking as residents of Buruburu. Sometimes we can do things against ourselves. So it is up to the county government to save us from our own mistakes. As the so it's like you've created this problem by having, well not you per se, but at least some of the other residents by having high rises and now you're asking the county government to intervene into something that you have created. Um, what I'm trying to say here is um, not every building in Buruburu or every house in Buruburu has an extension. Mm -hmm. It's a few. Mm -hmm. It's a few of the residents who have built extensions. And more so Recently, when people realize that Buruburu is going the wrong, the direction, the yeah. wrong direction, people are building those, ex uh, those extensions so that they can move out. A number of them have built to get enough space to rent, and they have moved out to better, to better estates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that's actually what has happened. So, so um, Mr. Uh, Ntwenti, what's going on now in terms of trying to maybe demolish or do away with those illegal structures? There's also bars that have come up as well. Is the county government looking into taking those down? Uh, before we think of demolishing the illegal structures, Victoria, it is good to note that the hawkers that are in Buruburu, that are in Karen, they are our sons, they are our daughters, they are bona fide and they have rights to be in this city. The only thing they are doing is uh, they are taking their wares in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. The county has designated markets where they can operate from. And the one in Buruburu has been taken up, grabbed, and actually an entertainment joint has been put up I, there. In fact, those are the ones I've heard even on the grout that the market has been grabbed. Let it be clear that uh, if a public utility is known and it is in our records, because now the city council is no longer there. What we have is a county government, which, is, uh, which involves public participation. We will know where all these properties were, and we reverse them back to the public. That is the heartbeat of the governor we have. So, I mean, that is now in your records. Are you going to take that entertainment joint down? Um, it, it's, it's a collective move. First of all, we want to bring order, and I'm happy we are working together with the residents of Buruburu, we are also working with uh, the hawkers and uh, the mechanics that are operating, especially on, on Rabai Road. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what we are moving away from, Victoria, is uh, that city council of fighting with the residents. Mm -hmm. We want to involve them in decision making. And, and Mr. And, Pachella, uh, do you feel the county government has been responsive enough to your petitions? Now, um, Victoria, First and foremost, I really want to thank the, His Excellency, the Governor of Nairobi, because he had our cries, the citizens of Buruburu. And um, in that case, he has come up with a big program 
called the work plan to restore the face of Buruburu mm -hmm. with a 20 um, point and is actually promise that is going to act on that work plan and if that go through Buruburu will go back to what, to what it used to be. Mm -hmm. And recently um, we had a bit of resistance from um, the, the people who have encroached and um, we went ahead as the residents of Buruburu to do a petition with 15,000 signatures which we'll be handing to the governor uh, this coming week to support the, his program so that the program can go on. At least we are thankful at the residents of Buruburu that our, our the excellency, the His Excellency, the governor, right. have listened to us and he has come up with this program. Okay. And uh, Dr. Ntoiti, before we get to that level of where Buruburu is, there are a lot of estates across Nairobi, across the country. What needs to be done to avoid them entering that state? Um, right now we have devolved our government. We are in 17 sub-counties and the 85 wards that are there in the city. And uh, in each of these units, we have an administrator and a team, of, uh, a team from the county government. So this is the team that is uh, consulting the public at that level, involving all stakeholders, including resident association, mm -hmm. so that we can restore all our estates. Remember, right now, we are actually city number one in terms of attracting FDI, mm -hmm. foreign direct investment. And we want to maintain that. We cannot attract investors if we allow hawkers to surround buildings. It is, um, it is in our master plan to provide a trading place for these hawkers. They are our brothers. They need to really earn a life. Okay. Work. All right. We have to yes. keep it, cut it off there. Thank yes. you so much, gentlemen, for coming in and uh, bringing to light this issue that a lot of people, I'm sure, can resonate with.